Tennessee and we are at the famous Martin's Barbecue. We got some brisket and broccoli slaw and coleslaw. We have baby back ribs and mac and cheese and cornbread. I like it. I'm not a big mac and cheese fan. It's good. Broccoli slaw is good. It's nice and smoky. at the Stillery, which is a really popular restaurant. We went to the one in Midtown. I ordered mac and cheese on a skillet with hot chicken on top. It's like buffalo, buffalo wings. This is perfect, perfect amount of spice. Not very spicy at all for people who take a lot of spice. Um, so I really like it. Yeah, I, I recommend this. this is Perfect for what I want right now. I'm so excited. My favorite, despite the long wait that we had at Party Fell, I actually really enjoyed the, the chicken myself. Let's go for the chicken. I'm a little bit scared. I don't handle hot food very easily, so um, maybe I should start off with just like a really small bite. It's, it's pretty spicy. For me, it doesn't like shock you with the spice. Kind of just, kind of slowly absorbs and works its way through your mouth. But it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I just don't know how much I could eat of this. It does have a nice kind of crispy, flaky crust to it. It's not real thick. I like it. I think it's good. And then we went to Acme Feed and Seed. Got the the hot chicken. Nuggets, I guess some nuggets. There's quite a bit of them. They're really crunchy, and I like that. It has a good flavor to it, but it's not super spicy. Like I can eat this like regular chicken nuggets, and I don't, I don't think it's really hot at all. Overall, I think they're good, but if you really want something spicy and you want hot chicken, you're probably gonna want to go somewhere else for that. Let me try the mac and cheese. Very pale mac and cheese, it kind of looks like macaroni salad. Creamy. It's good. The cheese is like on the milder side, but the only thing, the only gripe I have about this mac macaroni and cheese is that it's overcooked. So the, the pasta is like really mushy. Sometimes you just need a little bit of al dente bite. So that's the only thing that's missing from there. Otherwise, it has really good flavor. And uh, I'm happy this is a good little snack. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment and let us know about your food experiences in Nashville. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram at Curious Chicks Travel.